Hello and welcome to this video on how to model a hexacone. So I'll start my design with a sketch on the front plane and sketch this cone shape there. and give some dimensions the height of 144 an angular value of 7 degrees I'll catch one instruction line down here so I can dimension Vertex as a diameter of 66 millimeters. Then I'll continue with a sketch of a circle, 22, that is. And sketch one equilateral triangle here. make one vertex coincident here and sketch one line here and make those three here instruction geometry and that's it for that first sketch I'll go into the revolve uh, surface revolve of that edge around that axis then go to split base this one um, with um, that bottom circle here Okay, it's projected to both sides. And now I will go to delete face, delete that face and that back one. And there is our projector, projected circle on that surface. I will create my next sketch on that right plane. Go to intersection of that surface with that plane then draw a line from that midpoint up here well first I will create that perpendicular relationship here um, then place that on that center axis and draw one arc from those two endpoints make that a 22 radius next I will use that fill with that edge and a guide, which is my arc, all right? And merging with all the two surfaces, I merge into the that first part. I'll create my next sketch on the front plane. Project that, um, line and that circle go into the offset of that one give that a value of 2.4 and make that construction geometry make a mirror of that line there 
go into the circular pattern of those two, place the center of that pattern right there. And do some cleaning here with M. And then let's just make a, a, an extrusion wing. No. Okay, I'll hide that sketch one. And extrude those three through all, turning that around. And there is that part. I'll change the appearance of that to some organic green or what. And then make a fillet with four millimeters of base, that edge here. All right. And one more fillet of point three with a tangent propagation and take those three here. All right, I'll change the appearance of that feature to some white. Okay. Next. I'll make that sketch visible again. And um, that sketch number two, that edge, I want to use that for the direction of my linear pattern of parts. And so that is the direction going upwards. Distance is five and instance count 22. All right, there's that. And next I will make a composite part of um, every other instance. And then let's have a look here. There are the 22 parts. There's my composite part. I can hide all those and hide, show that composite part. And then I will rotate that. Um, take the composite part, take that axis and give that uh, 14 degrees. Okay, let's show all parts. Make a Boolean operation of all those here. And then let's clean up the back of that with the thin revolve of um, that line around that axis with a value of 0.6 millimeters. Removing from that part one. Okay, maybe that was in the wrong direction. Yeah. Okay, we got a smooth surface here.
then let's make uh, another circular pattern of that part around that axis and make that 12 times. Take some time to calculate that. All right, so there we got um, this. And let's make that um, one part. And we can hide um, all sketches. And uh, cut out, cut off those bottom flags here with the surface um, defined by an offset from the top plane eight millimeters. Now oh, I go into the split command. Take my part, put that with that face on that plane. You want to keep both sides. All right. And let's do that one more time with a plane again with an offset from that top plane with 118 millimeters and split or part with that plane on that other side but then all planes all right and just to give it a nice edge let's define um, two circles I will project um, well first that inner face here and then um, um, midpoint of that arc, draw a circle from there. I mentioned that with uh, four millimeters. And do something similar here, bottom. So um, you there there is some endpoint here. Make that equal to that top circle, and then go into the revolve solid revolve of that circle and the bottom one around that axis from sketch number one, adding to our um, part. And finally, hide that sketch again. And there is our basket or um, desktop organizer for pencils or or just simply or hexacomb um, well I hope you like this video and I see you in the next one